on a macro level, I do believe that there is a macro crisis coming that will affect everyone, whether it's your job security, um, your real estate values, right? your investments. I'm seeing that potentially happening. It's just impossible for us to keep printing money the way we're doing and going into more and more debt. It's, it's eventually going to pop. It's just like there's no getting around it. So in addition to that, these are some things to think about if I lose my job. I got a couple clients that lost jobs, a couple clients that the spouse passed away and they were the breadwinner and now it's just the wife dealing with that, uh, dealing with Husbands and wives where wife is working and then wife loses her job. So now it's just husband dealing on one income when they're used to dealing with two, right? It's this is like the constant weeds that I'm in in the battlegrounds today. So if I lose my job, that's an immediate crisis. Here are some of the things that go through my mind in addition to these things. So if I lose my job, should I pivot into a new industry, right? That's something to really think about. Now you might have a job, but not necessarily a career. So you might be considering, hmm, like, for example, I had a lady that uh, she was, I think she was working in marketing, and then is transitioning into IT, right? There, there are certain industries right now that are so low key, none of the none of the content creators are talking about it. But we're talking about like a sh for sure way to six figures. There's so many YouTubers like myself, right? I'm putting myself on the spot, right? There's so many YouTubers and content creators like myself that talk about all the sexy ways to make money online, right? There's so many sexy ways to make money online. Yes, no doubt. Sure, could probably happen. Not doubting it. But there are industries right now where it's like, I don't even have to guess. I just need to pick up the skill and like, boom, I could be making 80K a year, 100K a year, like within a very realistically short period of time. And if I'm working in an industry in where I'm only making 40, 50, 60K a year, and there is a clear path to generating 80, 90, 100,000 a year, like these are some of the industries. I'm just going to write them real quick. So you have the IT industry, and this is relatively low experience, little to no experience, low cost, and the, the learning curve is, is much shorter. So you got IT, you got something called a fire alarm tech plumber. You know how much plumbers are making right now in America? Oh my God, I didn't know anything about this. I, I saw this one content creator, he made a joke. He was like, 10 years from now, you're going to see YouTubers talking about how to make multiple six figures and it's going to be how to you know be a plumber how to become a plumber so it's like if you're working in an industry like maybe hospitality food and beverage just some kind of a job that's just kind of like eh, you know it's not really it, it just pays the bills type of a job consider looking at industries that produce real gdp like real tangible services that require a skill yes it can be hard labor but the payoff is so much better than just us trying to force uh, you know, an online opportunity, an MLM, a network marketing side hustle, the Uber Eats stuff and all those side gigs that burn you out and provide no value to you.